Have you ever faced a situation when you were struck with an idea for a painting but then realized that you didn't have an empty canvas or surface to execute the artwork on? In today's video, I'm going to talk about a product that has many uses and benefits. But the purpose that I use it for is to revive old canvases and to repurpose old journals so that I may use them for my creative endeavors. This magic product is Gesso. Gesso is basically a primer that many artists apply on canvases which are not pre-primed and this prepares it to receive acrylic paints. Without Gesso, the paints would soak into the weaves of the canvas and this could mean wasting a lot of expensive paints. But the beauty of Gesso is that you can apply it to nearly any surface and then make it possible to work on it with paints. The surface could be glass, plastic, rubber, paper, you name it and Gesso does the trick. The product that I'm reviewing today is Liquitex Professional White Gesso that comes in this squeeze bottle, but Gesso also comes in large jars and spray bottles. Traditionally, Gesso has been white, but nowadays they are also available in black, coloured and clear versions. Looking closer at the product, this is a part of their professional range which means that the proportion and quality of pigments is better as compared to the student grade Gesso. This bottle contains 473 ml of product and costs approximately Rs 1400 if purchased domestically. Also, this specific variant is designed for surface preparation, has a matte finish, is fluid in consistency and is quite opaque when applied. All this information along with its USB, method of application, surfaces on which it can be used etc. has been provided on the label. Just some quick information about the brand. Liquitex was originally a US brand but is now owned by Collart, the world's largest supplier of artist materials based in Sweden. Collart has two main manufacturing units, one in France and the other in China, and this specific unit has been made in France. In this video, I'll be showing how gesso may be used for art journaling, which is one of the most therapeutic way to relax and unwind. Now, while I'm using this specific product, you may use any gesso that's readily available to you. I'm going to use this moleskin daughter journal, but you can use any used notebook, journal, old books, etc. for this project. Now the pages of this notebook is quite thin. So the first thing I'm going to do is to glue two pages together so I have a sturdier working surface. For this, I'm using some decoupage glue, but you may substitute it with any other glue. Next, I'm going to stick a few torn pages from an old book to give an interesting background. You may even use old newspapers to create an intriguing effect. Now I'm going to take the Liquitex Professional White Gesso in a small bowl and add a little water. I'm doing this because this gesso is opaque and if I apply it directly on the paper, then the text of the book paper will get covered. Adding water will dilute the pigment content and give a more translucent effect, effectively pushing the text to the background without hiding it. Adding gesso also has an added advantage of making the paper thicker, stiffer and stronger. One may even add acrylic paint in the gesso to tint it. This is great to paint a consistent background colour. This technique is also useful if you want to cover up mistakes. You may also use gesso to add texture to your surface or use it like a modelling paste and add interesting shapes. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes for the gesso to dry completely from paper, but this time may vary from surface to surface or how thick the gesso is laid. I had not decided on what I wanted to sketch on this page, but when I see the negative space here, it does look like three owls are sitting huddled together, so that's what I'm going to go ahead and sketch. I want to keep the sketch whimsical and quirky. I want the text of the book paper to show, so I'm going to use watercolors to paint the owls. I'm using the Tombow calligraphy pen to sketch the outline because this is what I have in hand, but I would recommend using a cheaper outliner since the chalk powder of the gesso may mess with the flow of your pens. I'm going to use the tinted gesso that I had used previously to cover up these white patches. I have some cutouts from a previous craft project that may work well on this page. In case you're interested to know, I had used a silhouette cameo to cut these out, 
I will link the product in the description box below if you wish to check it out. The possibility of art journaling is endless and is only limited by our own imagination. Using Gesso opens up a wide range of possibilities and with our creativity it is possible to indulge in this limitless and joyful hobby. Over the years, the term Liquitex has been used synonymously with Gesso and this is primarily because Liquitex has been the pioneer in creating Gesso. But the Indian market is flooded with various brands of Gessos which work just as well. But of course, each brand will have its own idiosyncrasies that you need to figure out. But having said that, one cannot deny the fact that Gesso is an important tool in an artist's armory. If you enjoyed this video, do click the like button and do subscribe to my channel to watch an art supply review every Wednesday.